Hey, I'm back. It has been a hot minute because honestly, things have kind of been boring around here. We haven't been able to do much of anything. It's been storming almost every day, which is the norm in the South for the summertime. But anyway, my mom's birthday is coming up, but I thought, what can I do for her that is unique? Well, my mom is absolutely in love with my dog, Monkey. Everybody that meets Monkey is in love with Monkey. She's an amazing dog. So, there's, I guess it was a trend on TikTok. I don't know. My friend Marie did this and said that she found it on TikTok. So, I thought that I would give it a try. So, what you do is you put paint on canvas. And then you're supposed to put the canvas in a Ziploc bag, cover it with peanut butter, let the dog lick it off, and the dog does the painting. My canvas are a little too big for, I've got a uh, 8 by 10 or 5 by 7 something like that. It's 8 by 10 I think. So the only thing I could think of was to just cover it with wax paper and put it on the floor and I'm gonna, if I can find some tape, I'm gonna tape it down so maybe it won't move around as much and we'll see how it turns out. Maybe Monkey will be very creative today and maybe she won't be much creative at all but we'll see. But if, any, if anything she's gonna get some free peanut butter so can't be all that bad right? So I'm going to show you what we're going to start off with right now. Okay, so these are the supplies I'm going to use. I have an 8x10 canvas, which I already had a pack. That's why I didn't go and buy a smaller canvas that would fit in my Ziploc. And I don't have any like pastel colors or like pretty colors that my mom would probably like. So I'm going to use what I have. I have red, white, blue green and yellow. I have some neon colors and such but I think it might look like Jackson Pollock came over and even though I like that style I don't think my mom would like that style. So what I'm going to do oh and some cut right wax paper. So I'm really hoping that this is really good and that the peanut butter doesn't leach through at all because ew if this thing ends up smelling like peanut butter I would have to throw it out and it would be a waste. So the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to lay the wax paper down and because I want to make sure that this is covered what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay the wax paper down and I'm going to just trace with a pencil the size of the canvas so I know the area that I need to spread the peanut butter on. So that's the first thing we're going to do. You know what? I think I'm just going to say screw drawing the lines. I'm just going to figure it's kind of in the middle. Now, unfortunately, my husband is on a crunchy peanut butter kick. So that's all we have. And I'll, I'll tell you that it would be a lot easier to spread creamy peanut butter. But I'm going to try to do this thin, really thin. One, because I don't want her to get too much peanut butter since this is not natural peanut butter and it's not made for dogs. So because this has like some sugar and crap in it, I just, I don't want her to have that much of it. So I'm going to try to make a thin coat, enough to where she can get the job done, but not enough to where I don't want to make my dog sick. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some peanut butter and I'm going to put some in the middle. I'm going to more concentrate it on the middle. I'm going to take the um, thing away. But I'm going to more concentrate it on the middle and then let hopefully the action of her eating and licking the peanut butter will spread it out more. So this is, whew. I'm telling you, she is going to love this. Okay, so this is kind of a pain. I guess if you had a way to warm your peanut butter, to where it would spread easier <laughs> or if you didn't have freaking crunchy peanut butter because <laughs> who plans ahead? <laughs> Not me. <laughs> okay. Like I said, it doesn't have to be, and she doesn't even have to cover the whole canvas because wherever she doesn't cover, I'm going to get her to sign it or whatever. This is covering a decent bit of it. Now when my friend Marie did it, she covered the entire Ziploc bag. 
but she had, I think she had dog peanut butter. It was very smooth. I can't even look that off my finger because I can't have peanut butter. Um, it was very smooth and almost kind of runny and easy to spread, so I don't know if she warmed it up. But we don't use microwaves, so um, I don't have a way to really warm this up since it's in a plastic jar. I think that's going to cover enough to where she'll spread out. So I'm fixing to take this and I'm going to tape it to the floor. Keeping her away from me while I tape it to the floor is going to be the interesting part. Hopefully she'll like doing this. And if she doesn't like getting a lot of free peanut butter, I'm taking away her dog card. I'm just not going to lie. Did you hear that? <laughs> Wiggly. I'm going to do it in here on the kitchen floor. That way, if a mess happens, it's free to happen in here. And it'll be a lot easier to get up paint off of the floor than it would off the carpet, obviously. So I'm going to um, try to take this down and see how this works. Okay, I'm going to take this to the floor. Sit. She is like, Mom, I smell something good. Okay, oh, before, before I take it to the floor, it might be good if I put the paint on it. So I'm just going to put some good blobs here. Ooh, that was a lot. I already choked the paint. She is very interested in what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm just going to pull the peanut butter over this and take this to the floor. Okay, go ahead and look. Look! You can go ahead! I feel like I should have put paint all over the canvas instead of just in the center. I thought she would push it out to the end. But either way, it's going to be a monkey masterpiece. She's going to be thirsty after this. <laughs> I might have to put another blob just right in the middle. Did she rip through it? <gasps> I think she did. Did you rip through that? Okay, you can't. Okay, that's enough. Good girl. Stop, stop, stop. She she tore through a little piece of it, so I do not want her to have paint in her mouth. Not perfect. All right, let's see what your monkey masterpiece is. Yeah, she did rip through a little piece, so I'm gonna have to try to clean that area. She does not have paint in her mouth, people. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, well, it didn't really push the paint around a whole lot. Like I said, I think it's because it was chunky. Hmm, that is going to take hours to dry. Let's see if I smell peanut butter on here where it ripped. No, I don't. I'm going to try this one more time. I'm going to put a Ziploc on top of it with another, because this is still really thick and wet. So we'll be back in just a second. 
Okay, so I just put some on a Ziploc and put the Ziploc on top since the canvas doesn't fit in and taped it down. Now, I will say those paints are non-toxic, but I did check and she didn't get any in her mouth. So, if you're going to do this, don't use wax paper because obviously it tears. And I didn't want to use saran wrap because saran wrap is porous and I felt like the oils and the peanut butter would have gone through. So, go ahead, monkey. Go. Go ahead. Yum, yum. Go ahead. Yeah, the Ziploc bag is working much better. This is my fault for not going and buying a smaller canvas. If I would have bought a small canvas to begin with, I could have just put it in the Ziploc like you're supposed to. So that's my bad. So if you decide to do this with your dog, definitely buy a small canvas that will go inside of a gallon Ziploc. She's painting much better this way. Yum yum. Is it good? Are you done? Ooh. So pretty. This is painting it a lot better. All right, let's see what you did. Good girl. You're a good girl. Thank you for the peanut buttery kiss. All right, let's look at Monkey's handiwork. Oh, it's so wet and thick. That's what she said. This is super thick, so it probably is going to take the rest of the day to dry. But that is Monkey's, yeah, even when I hold it up, it's running. That is Monkey's painting, so I don't want to hold it up and let it run because that'll ruin her artwork. And I did think about making her do a paw print, which I'm sure my mom would love, but I would have to shave her feet first because she's got very fuzzy feet. I might do that. Do you want to sign it? Huh? You want to sign it for Grammy? I'll be back. Monkey has very, very fuzzy feet. And I shaved one of them, but it's still fuzzy. Come here. All right, hold on. Stop peanut butter. Come here. Come here. All right, sit. Good girl. Can we, we're, no, we can't lick the paint from Cindy. <laughs> okay, we're going to sign this for, for Grammy, okay? So pick up your, come here. Come here. Sit. Let me play. High five. Good girl. Hold on. She's like, what are you doing to me, mother? We're going to put that in there and then sign it right there. <gasps> Look at that. Monkey signed her feet. Oh, no. No, <laughs> no come here. Don't go with the carpet. Mommy's silly. <laughs> come here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. I didn't think about the consequences of that. <laughs> come here, honey. <laughs> when you decide to let your dog sign it and then you don't think about the fact she's going to get excited and proud of herself and run everywhere. This is exactly what happened. You're proud of yourself. You're a good girl. You're a good girl. She's all wiggly. Come here. You're a very good girl. You're a very good girl. Okay, sit. Say thank you for watching my vlog and thank you for watching me paint. I am a very good girl. Although, 
Mommy was very silly, and Mommy didn't pay attention to what she was doing. No, she didn't. <laughs> Say bye, monkey. Say bye. Can you high five? Can you high five them? Good girl. All right. Say thank you. Anyway, not to pull a Jerry Springer, but here's my final thoughts. It's a mess. Go and spend the three dollars on a small canvas that will fit in a gallon Ziploc bag. I do suggest taping it down so that the canvas doesn't move around. Um, don't use wax paper, it tears. Make sure that the paints you use are non-toxic just in case there's any kind of a bleed through. But there shouldn't be if you did it right in the first place. But like I said, I wanted to use what I had on hand so I used a massive canvas. And guys, it's going to take till tomorrow for this thing to dry, seriously. Like there's a big glob of wet red paint right in the middle. But, oh, and if you, <laughs> if you dip your dog's foot in paint, make sure they're not a hyper dog that's going to be like, yay, I did something and go running through the house with paint on their feet because <laughs> I just had to clean the floor on my hands and knees because our mop went to the garbage and I need to buy a new mop so that was not the time. <laughs> I'm just very glad that I caught her before she went on the carpet. <laughs> so, you're a very good girl. <laughs> Try to use smooth peanut butter um, so that they lick more evenly because uh, the problem was is since we have crunchy She was trying to pick up globs and pick up like the, the pieces and the crunchy parts so she could eat <laughs> so she could eat it And it was not pushing the whole point is they're supposed to lick and kind of push and fan it out I'm gonna link my friend Marie's channel down below go check out her dog shorty doing their painting It's all like blended and pushed out it looks really awesome. Not that my little monkey isn't a, an artist herself because she is. She's a very happy monkey. Yes, she is. She's sitting here smiling. She's so proud of herself. She is a very good monkey. You know what? All of our pets are artists in their own way. So it doesn't matter if one looks as good as another or looks its own way. Monkey did this. This is monkey's painting and my mom is going to love this as a gift. So, if you have a family member or a loved one that loves your pet, this is a fantastic gift to give them, and it's unique. It'll, it's something that they'll always have to remember your pet. And so, I definitely suggest taking some mess precautions and doing it the, the right way. So, no wax paper, and make sure you have a smaller canvas, and... If you have a hyper dog and you do the paw print, try to keep them contained before you get the um, uh, their foot wiped off. So, there you go. <laughs> so, that's it. So, thanks for joining me and I will catch you next time.